Hi, Mutable Signs. I hope that you are doing absolutely fabulous. Thanks for joining for your next set of readings. We're just going to finish out the month of July. And so um, let's see what's going on and what's changing for you all and, and all that kind of stuff. You are returning. Welcome back. If you're new, listen, my channel targets like um, legal stuff most of the time. We look at real hardcore energy. You will hear en energy on this channel that could come across that could be disturbing to you because that's the kind of stuff that I target. I target the occult and things like that to just to get rid of wickedness in our earth and uh, you know we just focus on being upright to one another and so it's just a real heavy work that I do and so you know you just buckle up if you stay you stay if you don't then you don't uh the the tarot is made up of the uh scripture I'm not sure you're religious I'm just spiritual again I'm about the truth but you will get scripture on my channel uh, I have a Hebraic descent I keep all to the commandments I, I don't call the great spirit the universe I call him by a scriptural name which is Jehovah Elohim uh the maker of heaven and earth I proclaim him I love him he is magnificent on my channel I just get back let him speak bring up whatever he wants because well he's in charge of everything and I fear him and so without fearing him we don't have no wisdom and so Jehovah is who I'm connecting with when I am doing my readings and so I love his son kiss his son at least he be mad at us like he tells us in scripture whose name was Yeshua and walked among us in the flesh and so I, I love the father I love the son and so anyway this is who I am um, let's see what's going on with your energy and we'll call it a read I, I will take one of these cards and I will clarify whatever we need I will take some about four words um for each one of your signs as well and then one overall energy of the runes for uh, mutable so let's see what's going on with pisces virgo gemini and sagittarius Jehovah, uh through the end of july please you'll have a rebuke and bind and block every foul wicked dark energy and shove it down to the pit of hell you do not belong in this realm and we will eject you out all right, Jehovah, show me Pisces, Virgo, Gemini, and Sagittarius, please, and thank you. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have somebody needs faith. Now, in the fixed sign reading, um, something came out about this relationship needs faith in wording. The sun right now is in a fixed sign. And if you are a Leo and a cross watcher on this video, happy birthday. I forgot to say happy birthday. Maybe I said happy birthday, happy anniversary. I'm not sure. But specifically, the sun is in a fixed sign. You can just go over there and watch that video since we're all under the sun. And so whatever this faith is for you, maybe somebody's name is faith. Obviously, we have to walk by faith and not by this this realm out here to figure out what's going on we must have faith so pisces your card is the empress if you're dealing with um mother situations or this is you there's pregnancies there's projects there's beauty this is giving caring kind um this is the letter gimel in the hebrew this is um legal matters with the empress for some people she's got the legal skills within her this could be a female boss that you're dealing with uh this is bank systems and things like that something could have been carried off or carried away uh, all these energies is with the empress um, if uh, you are dealing um, with something with your leg it's the pictograph in the Hebrew of, of a leg the letter G and the letter L would be here Pisces we are going to take a card on that as well Virgo you guys got hope and so somebody needs to hope okay and so we will take a tarot though out of my other deck to see what you're needing hope for um, but faith, hope, and love are the three things that remain. So something, maybe somebody's name is Hope. I'm not sure. But somebody's either hoping for something or you're going to need to hope uh, or you've been hoping uh, around some ordeal that, that needs to take place, uh, that needs faith. You've got hope. Uh, the emperor is here. So Gemini and the counterpart is here with Pisces with your energy. So if you are dealing with bosses or father figures, there, there doesn't have to be any connection to that but for some people that will be a connection um because it's here we've got something about a father or a boss or a door could be here with the letter dalit which is the letter d could be prevalent for any of y'all uh, with anything that comes out here uh for mutable but we've got something to do with uh war there's been a war and there has been a war because in this 
fix on reading. There was warring going on. There were legal matters going on. Uh, this is empires. This is somebody's head, the brain, the eye area would also be here with the uh, emperor energy. Um, this could be stubbornness that you're dealing with in the next couple of days, uh, or this is you. This is somebody get take a risk as well. You got the emperor on your energy, Gemini. Sagittarius, we have you. you. The will came out over taurine energy uh, itself. And actually, your, your energy came out real big with Scorpio and Taurus energy, okay, in the fixed sign reading. This is, this is your energy. So we've got spirituality. We've got teaching, learning. Uh, we've got money situations. For fortune is here, uh, inevitable timing. The law could be here if somebody has exaggerated something. This will's going to turn in the in the correct way that it needs to turn because it's the yod, uh, it's the arm of Jehovah. It's the first letter of His name, so the letter Y is here. This is luck, though. If you're standing in the truth, and this is truth, this is luck. This is your higher mind going off. Um, this is, you know, maybe you're studying something as well. Uh, something very fortunate, though, here. It's something about a vehicle could be here, or a wheel is also here. So let's go ahead and see for Pisces what this empress is, this mother, this boss, this pregnancy, the money situation. We had a cashier that came out. Um, in the fixed sign reading, so one, one part of this would be a fixed sign energy, okay? Um, on your energy, Pisces, so and she does represent money and stuff like that, um, or something legal is here with you. Babies are here. What is this Empress, please, here for Pisces, Jehovah, that you want to bring out? What's this? Thank you. Okay, well, we got somebody in rebellion. That wanted to come out in reverse. And for me, that is like a real big rebellion. Okay, somebody trying to rise up all the time. I got something to say all the time. As soon as somebody tries to rise up and to do something, somebody going to be put down. I will safely say that because we had energies that were coming up um, in the fixed sign reading stating that Sha'a was watching. That represents that, you know, the great ones paying attention to the one who's trying to attack somebody. And as soon as somebody stands up, boom. Somebody be knocked down real heavy here. Uh, you, you, so I guess you're dealing with somebody who's rebellious, or maybe you're rebellious, uh, or somebody in the mix you know, within your family is very rebellious, always wanting to rise up and war. Because uh, we did have warring type of energy. Somebody going to need some type of faith out here with this. So somebody's lost their balance within some ordeal. Then the empress in the negative is somebody don't have a balance. Okay, somebody's, somebody's in rebellion here within your ordeal. So we have all matters going on. Something around some type of a... a celebration or there's a judgment on somebody's home 11 11 11 houses i know that's aquarian energy and the 11th higher canon would be the justice card which was in the overall energy for all the fixed sun where the sun's at right now so some, something is here because we have legal matters around some ordeal for you so you're getting a person out here um the knights can represent somebody between the ages of 25 and 35. They didn't have to. Uh, we just see somebody just really real quick in, in something that's here in some type of a warish type of a mode. Uh, standing up, saying, doing something here. Uh, Virgo, we have the Six of Cups coming out on you. And this has um, a, a meaning of soulmates. Okay? So if you're hoping with, for or with your soulmates about some ordeal that's causing you to have to have faith or you've got, gained some type of faith here and hope, then this is about a returning. If somebody's hoping to return, this is somebody's children, their mother, their father, a blast from the past, somebody's ex involved in some ordeal. There's legal matters because this represents a courthouse. And so some type of legal thing is here. This is also a forgiveness card. Somebody's been in nostalgia about something in the past, okay, and you're hoping something's going to go down that's going to close out us uh, for a forgiveness and that's here there's a decision somebody's been trying to get their balance about something about the past and hoping within that and this is i'm i'm back and forth i'm secretly exchanging or going within myself and trying to get some balance to make a decision what to return or hoping that somebody will make a decision to return or something like that there's some type of a decision here with this show me the emperor please We have the Hermit. The Hermit showed itself in the Leo energy, uh, in the fixed signs. Um, so we have Aries on your energy. 
Um, and then uh, I'm going to go back here to Pisces. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Libra, and Taurine energy would be here with you, Pisces. It doesn't have to mean anything at all. Uh, this is a judge, a lawyer, or somebody trying to catch somebody up in a net, storm down in clay. Okay, this is a snake in the basket. This person in the upright, they, they can catch a snake. Okay, uh, there's something filthy here. This, somebody could be a disguise around you or, or around your father. Or an older person would really be here. This could be solitude and I'm lonely type of energy. Uh, if somebody is a secret agent somewhere this card could go back to that so somebody's uh, dealing with something like that and that's here the d and the t if there's a date if there's a secret date somebody's cloaked in something here uh something about a door would be here if somebody's tasting and discerning words with the hermit and going in and analyzing something then there's there's something here this is about a judgment i'm analyzing something okay and so, so somebody is analyzing something here with your energy gemini last time you guys you guys had lies around you and we've seen it the last couple of days just over and over and over so what if that is either you or somebody around you in some type of ordeal somebody's trying to, to uh, discern something or there's some type of a judgment here around a uh, father or a husband or there's some type of protection or somebody secretly going with them how to protect something around a door or uh, something about a date or something like that somebody's name could be todd here as well i'm not sure uh, or dot or dorothy could also be here just seeing it on your energy um we have oppression somebody has been oppressed okay somebody been really oppressed and down and out within some ordeal show me the sagittarian energy please with this will we have authority out here, real big authority, authority. This also represents authority. And people are going to need some faith and hope and stuff like that. So, so we. this also came out in the, um, it was the Aquarian side of things. Uh, this card talks about child laboring, okay? If you're dealing with children and things like that, and, and that ain't going to be for everybody, but something about child laboring or child trafficking could be here. And, you know, somebody traveled somewhere did something uh you know with children or something like that then then that's here otherwise this is a collaborating card your energy also goes back to a uh, spirituality if you are dealing with some people that are in the occult and they bow to molding images this person is like looking at the, this molded image and doing something crazy uh but anyway something out here about collaboration though is around your energy and whatever this collaboration is it's very karmic Something is inevitable with its timing. This, you know, if there's third parties, there could be third parties around you. Something's expansive. But Jehovah's first letter of his name is, you know, if you're standing in the truth, it will go in your favor. Okay? Something's inevitably going to take place here in whatever this collaborating energy is where you're standing in faith. Okay? This card is a bitterness card. Or there's two cups still. For somebody to turn around and take some um, some cups for some type of forgiveness. We see somebody drowning back here and somebody just like, I don't care. And so if there's been bitterness around some ordeal, then there's, there's legal matters around some stuff. It's caused you to have to stand in faith. There's, there's, there's some type of a luck though here. So if somebody is able to turn around and take those cups, then that's great. I'm going to take some words for you all. Thank you, Jehovah. You just picked through my hands. Show me Pisces, please. Show me Virgo. Show me Gemini, please. Magnificent King of Glory. You pick through my hands. Show me Sagittarius energy. All right, let's see what's going on. All right, well, Pisces. Last time you guys had like blood guilty stuff around you. There is some legal matter here around somebody uh, that's do doing something. Somebody trying to raise up and do something. Somebody's a liar around you. Okay, so that's either you or somebody around you is lying. So they're a liar. Somebody's a liar out here. And you always says something's a cover up and you need to beware. Okay, well obviously we've got something out here. Okay, your energy's had some stuff around you. Um, Somebody said you you were made for me. You really really need to make sure this is the truth and whoever's energy this is, because you're always saying there's something that is covered up out here and somebody's a liar. Okay, and so either you're lying to somebody or somebody's doing that to you. Okay, As somebody is very controlling and jealous out here. Well, it's out here. 
something's out here. Blesses the man that walks not in the counsel of the wicked. Well, there's somebody wicked out here on your energy the last couple of days. It, it, it just is, okay? And somebody's around you that's a liar, and you guys had blood guilt of stupidness and sacrificing around your energy. There's babies here with this empress here then, and especially if somebody's got somebody that's around them, and you think somebody is with and they're not, and your children are around somebody, you better connect with the great one, okay? You don't want to get involved in some ordeal where it, it'll cost you. Um, so blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. Somebody is. Somebody's on heavy drugs. And that also came out, uh, it, I think it came out in the Scorpio energy. Somebody had a, a drug problem. They were being warned. Okay, so whoever this energy is for, that's your energy right there. Virgo, we have the boss involved in some ordeal. Okay, so we, we do have authority in just overall in the um, mutable energy itself. So something about your boss or you're a boss is here. Okay, um, some type of a male figure is here. There's some type of a, a recalling of events. Okay, we have the courthouse here. And so somebody is being questioned about something because we did overall in the fixed sign have legal matters going on. Some, but some type of a recalling of events. So if somebody's in nostalgia about something in the past here that's went down with some male figure specifically, whether that be your boss or you or just somebody in the mix or your children or somebody that you just know in your past, there's some type of remembering something here and uh, recalling something from the past, okay, and speaking about it, okay, so be aware somebody could be coming back and you're going to have to um, account for something from the past or whatever that is. The angels are here to help you, okay, yes, if you're staying in the truth, you will. I was so crushed when I seen the look in your eyes and I had to turn you away and I've regretted it. Somebody's regretted something here, okay, and so whatever that is for you, those are your words. Uh, Gemini, something about in the woods. This card specifically came out over the Scorpio energy, okay? And there's something about a toolbox here as well. Um, a police officer is, again, it, it, we got some authority figure around your energy or that's you. Uh, somebody's a disguise, somebody's going within, there's something filthy going on, they're, they're trying to taste words to put some type of a judgment, or somebody's trying to catch you up, or you're trying to catch somebody up in a net, uh, and uh, try to store somebody down in clay, or something like that. Uh, since this card came out with the Scorpio energy, there was an attack there, okay? So we got legal matters here. We have a police officer, or you're a police officer, or you're involved in something. We have a school here, okay? So whatever that is, some, something about a school. We have a rope, okay? There's, there's a, some type of a, a twisting of something here. Something's very dark around your energy, all right? Well, again, we had lying sacks of craps around y'all's stuff, okay? So hopefully you're being found in the upright. There's, this is a judgment card. If somebody got to open or shut a door on something, then there, there's there's something here. We got children involved in some stuff. So we got a father figure, and we got older people, whatever that is. Um, it's this card says that it, it, you know it's not good to accept the person of the wicked to overthrow the righteous in judgment. And a fool's lips enter into contention, and his mouth calls for strokes. A fool's mouth is his uh, distraction, and his lips are the snare of his soul. That's huge. So we have the, we have the goth. We have a rope out here. Okay, uh, the fool. We'll take back to Aquarian energy that was actually on your energy. And the star can also be found in this um, in this uh, lantern as well. So something with that energy still is intertwining. Uh, Sagittarius, somebody you're dealing with somebody who has a mental problem connected to your ordeal, especially if somebody's you know talking to molded images. They're talking to demons. Okay, um, it's crazy. Somebody was not kind. No, because th th some some people have been attacked. Okay, just again, because some of this energy is going to intertwine with each other. Uh, somebody wasn't kind because there, there's somebody's got a mental issue, okay, uh, around some ordeal. There's also a major love match uh, connected to your energy. Last time you all had the Empress on you, 
And so that energy is being found here. There's a there's a major love match here around your energy. Uh, you are widely known in a good way. So if you are known, there's authority energy out here, even just spiritually or whatever that is. You are widely known in a good way and well respected. Okay, and so that's positive. If you're in the upright, you are. If you're not, and and, and you're known, and you're not in the upright. Uh, that will is inevitable around somebody because somebody's connected here that has a mental problem. They're talking to demons, and if, if they're just known and they're not in the upright, then let let it be known, you but let it be known. We have a fake preacher on the other side. Again, y'all got y'all got spirituality here as well. Okay, so for some of you all are dealing with somebody who was not kind, they got a mental problem. So for some people, there's a, a fake preacher that is involved, and they're they're well known, but they're fake. Okay. Let it be known, Yehovah. And some of you all are just, you're just well known. And uh, just these energies are out here. you got a love match going on. Um, if you're dealing with a cook or something to do with cooking, or you just like to cook, or you just need to be aware of your cooking this week uh, within some ordeal, then that energy is coming out. All right. Show me mutable, Yehovah. What do you want them to know? The Jara is out here. Well, you know, we got too much of, obviously, the Emperor and the Empress energy is, is here. Okay? It's here. It's here. It's here. Okay? So those of you in the upright, you just got somebody around you that's a liar, but you've got somebody that is of interest, and you are in the upright. Somebody could be jealous around this stuff. Okay? Uh, somebody was made for the Empress, and somebody was made for the Emperor, and somebody over here is a match at, straight out of heaven from Jehovah, and so it's here. Uh, and then we, the Jara is also that energy. So the, we got the letter J, and this goes back to um, a marriage that is arranged for a mutual interest. But if you've got somebody else also mutually interest, interest, interested, and something's went down with some ordeal with the third party somewhere, because we got third parties here on you, Sagittarius, with this uh, collaborating injury. Actually, like I said, this energy also came out in the fixed sign. Some of y'all got freaks around, some ordeal, or X is involved in some stuff, and there's legal matters around it. But this is some type of healing and recovery uh, around some situations for you all. This is a benefit and a yield and some type of a result in the next couple of days for you all. So hopefully you're standing in the truth and uh, things will go uh, down for you the way that they should and uh, the, 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 the negative side of the people want to rise up will be put down in a very big way. Until next time, Shalom.